maybe 40 to 60 years ago, somebody challenged the Supreme Court. They said, hey, why do I have to close my business on Sunday? I'm not Christian or Catholic. Why do I need to close my business on church day? And they took it all the way up to the highest court, and then they won the right to not have to close their business on that day. And so that would set a precedent. So now everyone else can say, hey, well, there was this law passed. This court decided that. Well, we should keep doing that. Right? So that's kind of a precedent system. And it has its pros and cons, right? You have a bit of progressive, uh, there's, you have a bit of progress, and then you still have a bit of you know, tradition involved as well. So yeah, main thing you want to write from this slide is uh, Charter of Rights and Freedoms, just this last point, contains all our civil and legal rights. Okay, it was formed in 1982. Okay, I'm gonna move on to the next slide. Everybody okay, or are we still writing? Okay. The first two points are not nearly as important as the third point. Okay, just keep that in mind. You don't need to write down this whole paragraph. Questions on the charter or anything else so far? Okay, I'm going to move on. Uh, this is one of the last slides in the PowerPoint, I believe. Um, so I didn't know about this. This was in the civics PowerPoint, but. In 1983, a student poured red paint on one of two copies of the Constitution to protest the United States performing cruise missile tests over Canada. The other copy got wet with rain the day Prime Minister Pierre Trudeau and the Queen signed it. So I find that interesting. I guess they just had two copies of the original document. One got attacked by a protester and the other one got rained on before they signed it. So. I guess the original, wherever that is, one has red paint and the other has just water, rain, it's kind of wet. Uh, you don't need to write this stuff down. Okay. Uh, I believe this is the last slide. Consensus democracy uses decision-making model to develop legislation and policies. So occasionally during uh, uh, an election, I know they did this in Alberta, in Edmonton, they did this a, while, a little while ago, but they sent out a consensus. They asked everybody to not just vote on uh, a representative, an elected representative, but they also ask people to vote on three separate issues. I believe the one that I recall was uh, about equalization payments that Alberta pays to Quebec and whether or not we should reduce them. I don't forget what the other two questions were. Okay. So again, in more democratic systems, you still have you know, the government, um, you, it will ask its citizens on occasion what they want done on a certain topic, right? They, maybe they call it a referendum as well. Okay. But maybe this is slightly different, but yeah, this is basically asking more of the population what they think and what should be done. Okay. I'm going to stop this recording.